free association. Uh, 11 o'clock Eastern time. It's 4.01 in the UK where I am in the north of England. And it's just going to be one of those shows where I ramble today, I think, because I've I haven't prepared anything, and I just thought I'll I'll sit here and wait for inspiration. Sometimes those are the best shows, though. I mean, I might I might play play a video about twenty minutes in, but I'll sit here in silence if I have to, just to wait for inspiration. Because honestly, and there's so much rubbish going on around the place that I'll, I'm not re that I'm not interested in. I'm not interested in talking about it. I don't even want to acknowledge the existence of the, th the stuff that's going on at the moment. All right, it's there. I'll accept it. But I'm not going to feed it. I'm not going to give it any of my energy by talking about it. So I'm waiting for something else to talk about. And uh, all right, let's 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 start just by. I'm I'm on the uh, the Bridget's Well show tomorrow talking to Mitzi. And I, I agreed to talk to her about uh, things that I've been doing on Discord, on a place called Discord for a couple of years, three years now, I think. Might even be longer. But uh, I could tell that story, I suppose. Get the, get the details in the right order in my head so that I can actually tell, it proper, tell the story properly tomorrow. So about four years ago, or thereabouts, uh, somebody mentioned Discord in, in a philosophy group that, were, that I was in, and I didn't know anything about it, but Discord is a, it's like a voice chat system, it's a, it's a voice, voice and chat system for, for gamers, I don't play computer games, but, uh, but this guy who was in the, in the philosophy group does, so he was talking about that, and I thought, as, as is my way, when somebody says something and I don't know what they're talking about, I go and have a look. It's always been the way that I've been. So so I went and had a look at Discord, and it turns out you can do creative things on Discord without any money. So that's a good thing, because I didn't have any money at the time, and I still don't. Um, so being the person that I am, the first thing that I did was set up a... It, they, they do this thing called servers. A server is basically a chat room or a, a, a combination of chat rooms with different topics. And you've got text chat and you've got voice chat rooms as well. So that's that's perfect for me because uh, I'm interested in, in just talking to people and getting ideas out there and, and having a conversation about different ways of doing things. Uh, so I set up a Reiki server. It's called Reiki Initiation. This is about four, three, four years ago. I don't know the exact date. I'll have to check the exact date. Uh, but I was living living in Gateshead uh, with pretty close to zero money. And, he, and you need something to do. If you've got no money, you need to have something to do. Otherwise, you go insane. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm on Revolution Radio. It gives me something to do. And stops me going insane. So, Discord servers are, are free, and uh, it's a it's a community of gamers. So it tends to be like sixteen year old boys, um, mostly. It's like sixteen to twenty five year olds, something like that. It's not exactly that demographic, but sixteen to thirty, call it. Uh, but it's it's young lads basically because uh, they're into their PlayStation or their they have first-person shooter games or whatever it is that they do. And they talk to each other on Discord while they play. And, uh, and get drunk or, or whatever it is they do. Smoke weed, probably. It's, it's probably going to be a weed-smoking thing, isn't it? It's almost inevitably going to be a weed-smoking thing. But each to their own. It's not my thing, but I've got no issues with people smoking weed at all. Because mostly the most of the people I've met who smoke weed are chilled out. They might be a mess, and that's the reason they're smoking the weed. But they they're a chilled out mess, and that makes a difference. Not everybody, but most of the people I've I've met over the years who smoke weed 
have been quite quite mellow sometimes addicted to other stuff as well or pills and alcohol usually so it's sometimes a sometimes just a general addiction thing sometimes it's a chilling out getting rid of pain thing sometimes it's a, a more of a philosophical thing uh but anyway it's Discord, Discord's quite quite a lot of weed smoking goes on on Discord, but uh, so I set this community up and waited to see what would happen, and nothing happened for a month or two, and then a and then a guy showed up, a guy who's now a a woman I think, showed up, and he helped me set it up properly because I didn't know what I was doing, but he spotted me. Came in, came into the community, introduced himself or herself, said hello, and offered to help. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. He's, a, she's already got a community set up. Help me set it up. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Random people turned up, helped me set the community up properly, talked me through a little bit of how to use Discord, and then other people stood. And he, he actually invited a few people in as well. I think he must have been invited about 10 or 12 people in from his own community, which is a very generous thing to do when you think about it. It's like you, you, you're inviting your active people to be active somewhere else. That's a, that's a generous thing to do. Anyway, so, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Uh, yeah, that, that, that particular person... Think turned into a woman. I don't know whether he actually had the the operation or not, but either way, I'm grateful for him being there or her being there and helping me out. He's disappeared now, so I don't know what's going on with that. But people come and go on Discord. People show up, are active for a couple of months, and then vanish. And it's just the way it is. But so this this community has been around for. Let's say three and a half years to be safe. I think it's about that. And there's now a hundred people in there. So it went from just me sitting on a computer talking to myself, basically, to a hundred people in a community in three years. But that's that's with no advertising really. It's no real I mean I did I did put a little bit of effort in getting putting a listing on a few places. But but I didn't advertise it. I didn't didn't promote it. Didn't really do anything with it, apart from just sit and wait for people to turn up. So in three years, there's a hundred people, thirty people a year, which means that in in another three years, it'll be two hundred people. In three years, it'll be three hundred people as you go along. So by the time it's been around for 15 years there'll be a good sized community on there and it'll be it'll be running itself at the moment i post things i show up on a sunday evening invite people to a voice chat sometimes people turn up sometimes they don't you can't really tell but the, the last one i the last voice chat i did on there uh there was a there was a guy a young lad who'd just shown up but he turned out to be 14 and uh, I had a chat with him, and he's waiting to be initiated into Reiki by one of his mother's friends. Uh, his mother's into Reiki as well, so he was just looking for a community. So I'll I'll talk to him. I've got no problem talking to people. Uh, I don't say anything necessarily uh, insightful on there, but now and again I will. So, and it's not something that I'm charging for. It's just a thing that I do. It's just a thing that I do. And because because the Reiki community started to grow, I started to set up other communities. So there's now a, a stop smoking and drinking community on there as well. And there's a, what's the other one I set up? There's a emotional, emotional freedom. It's an emotional freedom community on there for letting go using Sedona method. I set it up as. That one was interesting because I set it up with different voice channels for letting go of different issues. So there's a voice channel 
for letting go of anger. There's a voice channel for letting go of grief and on and on. Pride, uh, apathy, uh, fear as well. All of those things, ag flap, apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride. Those are the things to let go of. And I set it up with the intention that the, there was Reiki in the voice chat to support people in letting go. And well, nobody, nobody's really doing that, but it's a, it's still a community. There's about thirty of us on there now. And now and again, somebody's got an issue and they post, and we all, two or three pe people, will respond to the post. And then hopefully there's an insight in there somewhere or there's, there's a conversation that produces an insight and people work stuff out and move on. That's the idea. Um, so it's similar to what I do here, really. It's very similar to what I do here. Most of my stuff is similar stuff with a slightly different wrapper. All right, excellent. Mayor Street's in the chat room. Boy Solomon's in the chat room. Um, I don't know who else is in there, but hello to both of you. Uh, so yeah, if you want to find me on Discord, then uh, the, the main server is called Reiki Initiation. Uh, I set up, a, I did set up a Discord server for this radio show as well. So if you look for Free Association Radio Show Live then you'll find me there as well sometimes not it, at, at one point i was going to do an evening show my time just in the discord server and i might still do that uh, i might still do it uh, but i'd have to get more people in there there's only really me and a couple of other people in there at the moment but if i can get an audience on the discord server then i might do something there as well what I want to do, though, is try and find a way to, to pay for these things. So last week I set, up a, I set up a Buy Me A Coffee page. If anybody wants to do that, if you go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash radio projects and you can make a donation there or whatever. I think that's probably easier than giving out uh, websites and what have Anyway, the, the websites have died pretty much because I tweet something. So the, the, Reiki, the Reiki websites died for the time being until I figure out what I tweaked that, that messed it up. And the, and the free, association, free association radio show .com is uh, kaput for the time being as well because I tweaked something on there as well. So I'm going to have to go in and, and have a look at databases and Right, yeah, I, I will, Boy Solomon. I'll put the link in uh, in chat for the Discord server. Let me let me go up, open it up. Hang on. Right, I'll put the I'll put the um, the radio show Discord in here, and I'll put the Reiki Discord in here as well. Uh, for me, I think Discord's a better option than because the, the websites cost me money, and I don't really want to be spending money unless I'm getting some money in to cover the costs. Uh, if you just put if you just put Free Association Radio Show Live Discord into Google or into a search engine, you should be able to find it. Let me see if I'll do it that way. comes up that way i know this is a bit improvised but i'm i'm in an improvised mood today so it just is what it is for the time being anyway i might put a video on in a second but i feel like my voice is strong today i don't feel like i've got any kind of major issues going on with my voice which sometimes i do because i for, for whatever reason it dries out when i'm talking a lot so 
But at the moment, I'm all right, and I've got Lucas Aid, so I can always have a drink of Lucas Aid and keep myself going that way. Right, the search isn't happening for whatever reason. I don't know what's going on. Discord servers tag with radio. There you go. Let's see what see if it comes up. I don't have. I haven't done this actually. I haven't checked it. But I'm sure I must have tagged it with radio. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Lots of stuff coming up, but none of it's me. Right, so there's six or seven pages of things tagged with radio. What I'll do is I'll make sure I tag it with radio at some point so that it shows up. All right, boy, Solomon, I'll, I will, I'll, I'll have a chat with you later on about the websites. Um, and I might have, if you know what you're doing with WordPress, you're welcome to have a look at it. Because uh, I'd... <laughs> As always, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've been messing about with WordPress for years, but every when I tweak things, it goes wrong. And I know this from experience because I've done this on a lot of sites <laughs> over the years. And it always happens, and I always tweak things. I don't know what it is with me. It's just like a self-sabotage thing. It was been working for ages. It's been working for a year. The Reiki site's been up for like two two years. The radio show site's been up for, for 10 or 11 months now, 10 months. But I changed changed the colour schemes, changed the theme, and something went wrong, and I don't know what it was. Uh, I might just need to go in and take out all the themes that aren't the one I wanted to use, and then it'll default to that theme, and then I'll be able to go in and sort it out. But at the moment, I can't even get in there. So... Yeah, I'll I'll speak to you later about it, boy Solomon. Because uh, I mean, I'm I'm open to all the help I can get just at the minute. Because I I do stuff and it works for a while and then it stops working. So I need to find a way to I need to find a way to to not be tweaking the website, which means probably give it to somebody else to do and let them take responsibility for it. I'm in a strange mood today. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but. Uh, I'm in a good mood, but it's a strange mood. It's uh, it's one of those things. I think it's it must just be the new year. Because to me, it's like I've let go of last year already. So I'm just, I feel lighter. I feel much, much lighter than I, than I did in December last year. But I've just let, I've let go of it. I've, I've literally just like dropped it from my, my, my back. Whatever I was carrying is gone. And uh, I think it's, oh, another thing I was going to do today is uh, I was I was thinking of, I was I did a an EFT session yesterday a little bit about powerlessness because I thought right I've been feeling powerless because of the stuff that's going on which I won't name and won't give power to but I've been feeling a little bit powerless and I was thinking is it powerlessness or is it fear of power? And I think it might be fear of power. So I want to like flip that around in my head somehow. And the, the easiest way that I know how to do that is emotional freedom technique. I'm not going to do that live because I'll end up with nothing to say. But but I'll do it after the show. Or maybe in the Discord server after the show. All right, let me let me find the link for the radio show server and then I'll I'll make it a a link that doesn't expire as well. I should probably have been promoting this a little bit more. Now that I'm... No, that's not the one I wanted. That's just copy it. All right, that'll do. I'm back. We go to here. may not have been the right server let me just make sure i know yeah it was the right server wasn't it association radio show live there you go 
I'm not actually doing it live from Discord, but it means I can do radio shows whenever I feel like it, basically. So it means I don't have to look for a time stop. I, I can just jump on and invite people into a voice chat room, which makes it easier for me and probably easier for other people as well, because it, it becomes like a mail, like the server becomes a mailing list in effect or a, an, int, an interest group list or whatever, whatever words you want to use. But uh, the, the sound quality is good on there. I can play videos in there. I can play music in there. I can, I can do what I like. So I might, I might do a little bit more in there than I've been doing. I'll make it, a, I'll make it an intention to do at least one show a week in the Discord server and then see how we go with it because it's uh, I'm not all that good with New Year's resolutions. I normally do my New Year's resolutions at Halloween and a Chinese New Year and that way I'm not under any kind of psychological pressure to, to do anything or maintain anything. I can just do it at my own pace really which is the way I like it. Anyway, let's let's find a a thing to do on YouTube now. Right, I've been listening to Joseph Murphy and the the power of your subconscious mind. So there's a power theme going on with me at the moment. As a stepping into my own power, fear of power, that kind of theme. Let's let's see what we can find for Joseph Murphy Murphy here. Or of your subconscious mind. So I was listening to this. I can probably get away with starting this anywhere because it's all anecdotes and stories, stories and like case studies. So I'll start it about, well, I'll start it where I finished off. Let's just make sure I'm sharing the screen because it's always a bit temperamental. There we go. So that should work. Well, appearances, and then he quietly and knowingly turns over his request or desire to his subconscious mind, realizing that the intelligence of his mind will answer him according to his specific needs. The most wonderful thing to know is this. Imagine the end desired and feel its reality. Then the infinite life principle will respond to your conscious choice and your conscious request. This is the meaning of believe you have received and you shall receive. This is what the modern mental scientist does when he practices prayer therapy. One process of healing. There is only one universal healing principle operating through everything. The cat, the dog, the tree, the grass, the wind, the earth. For everything is alive. This life principle operates through the animal, vegetable, or mineral kingdoms as instinct and the law of growth. Man is consciously aware of this life principle, and he can consciously direct it to bless himself in countless ways. There are many different approaches, techniques, and methods in using the universal power, but there is only one process of healing, which is faith. For according to your faith is it done unto you. The Law of Belief All religions of the world represent forms of belief, and these beliefs are explained in many ways. The law of life is belief. What do you believe about yourself, life, and the universe? It is done unto you as you believe. Belief is a thought in your mind which causes the power of your subconscious to be distributed into all phases of your life according to your thinking habits. You must realize the Bible is not talking about your belief in some ritual, ceremony, form, institution, man, or formula. It is talking about belief itself. The belief of your mind is simply the thought of your mind. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. It is foolish to believe in something to hurt or harm you. Remember, it is not the thing believed in that hurts or harms you, but the belief or thought in your mind, which creates the result. 
All your experiences, all your actions, and all the events and circumstances of your life are but the reflections and reactions to your own thought. Prayer therapy is the combined function of the conscious and subconscious mind scientifically directed. Prayer therapy is the synchronized, harmonious, and intelligent function of the conscious and subconscious levels of mind specifically directed for a definite purpose. In scientific prayer or prayer therapy, you must know what you are doing and why you are doing it. You trust the law of healing. Prayer therapy is sometimes referred to as mental treatment, and another term is scientific prayer. In prayer therapy, you consciously choose a certain idea, mental picture, or plan which you desire to experience. You realize your capacity to convey this idea or mental image to your subconscious by feeling the reality of the state assumed. As you remain faithful in your mental attitude, your prayer will be answered. Prayer therapy is a definite mental action for a definite specific purpose. Let us suppose that you decide to heal a certain difficulty by prayer therapy. You are aware that your problem or sickness, whatever it may be, must be caused by negative thoughts charged with fear and lodged in your subconscious mind, and that if you can succeed in cleansing your mind of these thoughts, you will get a healing. You therefore turn to the healing power within your own subconscious mind and remind yourself of its infinite power and intelligence and its capacity to heal all conditions. As you dwell on these truths, your fear will begin to dissolve, and your recollection of these truths also corrects the erroneous beliefs. You give thanks for the healing that you know will come, and then you keep your mind off the difficulty until you feel guided, after an interval, to pray again. While you are praying, you absolutely refuse to give any power to the negative conditions or to admit for a second that the healing will not come. This attitude of mind brings about the harmonious union of the conscious and subconscious mind, which releases the healing power. Faith Healing – What it means and how blind faith works What is popularly termed faith healing is not the faith mentioned in the Bible, which means knowledge of the interaction of the conscious and subconscious mind. A faith healer is one who heals without any real scientific understanding of the powers and forces involved. He may claim that he has a special gift of healing and the sick person's blind belief in him or his powers may bring results. The voodoo doctor in South Africa and other parts of the world may heal by incantations or touching the so-called bones of saints or anything else may heal a person, which causes the patients to honestly believe in the method or process. Any method which causes you to move from fear and worry to faith and expectancy will heal. There are many persons, each of whom claims that because his personal theory produces results, it is, therefore, the correct one. This, as already explained in this chapter, cannot be true. To illustrate how blind faith works, you will recall our discussion of the Swiss physician, Franz Anton Mesmer. In 1776, he claimed many cures when he stroked diseased bodies with artificial magnets. Later on, he threw away his magnets and evolved the theory of animal magnetism. This he held to be a fluid, which pervades the universe, but is most active in the human organism. He claimed that this magnetic fluid, which was going forth from him to his patients, healed them. People flocked to him, and many wonderful cures were effected. Mesmer moved to Paris, and while there, the government appointed a commission composed of physicians and members of the Academy of Science, of which Benjamin Franklin was a member, to investigate his cures. The report admitted the leading facts claimed by Mesmer, but held that there was no evidence to prove the correctness of his magnetic fluid theory, and said the effects were due to the imagination of the patients. Soon after this, Mesmer was driven into exile and died in 1815. Shortly afterwards, Dr. Braid of Manchester undertook to show that magnetic fluid had nothing to do with the production of the healings of Dr. Mesmer. Dr. Braid discovered that patients could be thrown into hypnotic sleep by suggestion, during which many of the well-known phenomena ascribed to magnetism by Mesmer could be produced. You can readily see that all these cures were undoubtedly brought about by the active imagination of the patients together with a powerful suggestion of health to their subconscious minds. All this could be termed blind faith, 
as there was no understanding in those days as to how the cures were brought about. Subjective faith and what it means. You will recall the proposition, which needs not be repeated at length, that the subjective or subconscious mind of an individual is as amenable to the control of his own conscious or objective mind as it is by the suggestions of another. It follows that whatever may be your objective belief, if you will assume to have faith actively or passively, your subconscious mind will be controlled by the suggestion and your desire will be fulfilled. The faith required in mental healings is a purely subjective faith and it is attainable upon the cessation of active opposition on the part of the objective or conscious mind. In the healing of the body it is, of course, desirable to secure the concurrent faith of both the conscious and subconscious mind. However, it is not always essential if you will enter into a state of passivity or receptivity by relaxing the mind and the body and getting into a sleepy state. In this drowsy state, your passivity becomes receptive to subjective impression. Recently, I was asked by a man, how is it that I got a healing through a minister? I did not believe what he said when he told me that there is no such thing as disease and that matter does not exist. This man at first thought his intelligence was being insulted, and he protested against such a palpable absurdity. The explanation is simple. He was quieted by soothing words and told to get into a perfectly passive condition, to say nothing and think of nothing for the time being. His minister also became passive and affirmed quietly, peacefully, and constantly for about one half hour that this man would have perfect health, peace, harmony, and wholeness. He felt immense relief and was restored to health. It is easy to see that his subjective faith had been made manifest by his passivity under treatment, and the suggestions of perfect healthfulness by the minister were conveyed to his subconscious mind. The two subjective minds were then in rapport. The minister was not handicapped by antagonistic auto-suggestions of the patient arising from objective doubt of the power of the healer or the correctness of the theory. In this sleepy, drowsy state, the conscious mind resistance is reduced to a minimum, and results followed. The subconscious mind of the patient, being necessarily controlled by such suggestion, exercised its functions in accordance therewith, and a healing followed. The meaning of absent treatment. Suppose you learned that your mother was sick in New York City and you lived in Los Angeles. Your mother would not be physically present where you are, but you could pray for her. It is the Father within which doeth the work. The creative law of mind, subconscious mind, serves you and will do the work. Its response to you is automatic. Your treatment is for the purpose of inducing an inner realization of health and harmony in your mentality. This inner realization acting through the subconscious mind operates through your mother subconscious mind as there is but one creative mind. Your thoughts of health, vitality, and perfection operate through the one universal subjective mind and set a law in motion on the subjective side of life which manifests through her body as a healing. In the mind principle there is no time or space. It is the same mind that operates through your mother no matter where she may be. In reality there is no absent treatment as opposed to present treatment for the universal mind is omnipresent. You do not try to send out thoughts or hold a thought. Your treatment is a conscious movement of thought and as you become conscious of the qualities of health, well-being and relaxation, these qualities will be resurrected in the experience of your mother and results will follow. The following is a perfect example of what is called absent treatment. Recently, a listener of our radio program in Los Angeles prayed as follows for her mother in New York who had a coronary thrombosis. The healing presence is right where my mother is. Her bodily condition is but a reflection of her thought life like shadows cast on the screen. I know that in order to change the images on the screen, I must change the projection reel. My mind is the projection reel. And now I project in my own mind the image of wholeness, harmony, and perfect health for my mother. This infinite healing presence which created my mother's body and all her organs is now saturating every atom of her being and a river of peace flows through every cell of her body. The doctors are divinely guided and directed and whoever touches my mother is guided to do the right thing. I know that disease has no ultimate reality. 
If it had, no one could be healed. I now align myself with the infinite principle of love and life, and I know and agree that harmony, health, and peace are now being expressed in my mother's body. She right, now that, there was one thing that you just said that, that I think I need to talk about a little bit. He said, no, no disease exists, which is an important uh, philosophical thing that I, that I agree with. And it's difficult to it's difficult to see no no disease existing, but you can feel it, I think, and you can you can sense it. Uh, but but what you see in the world isn't going to show you that no disease exists. And if no disease exists, then no virus exists either. Um, I've been I've been watching uh, some videos recently on uh, German new medicine which is uh, an interesting thing. I'm not sure about it yet, but uh, it's very interesting. And it, it tags along, it, it kind of coincides with a lot of the way my mind works, uh, with the emotional cause of disease. But, but the way that they do it in, Ju in German New Medicine is that the, the emotional cause is an adaptation so it's so it's, so it's still not a disease it's a natural adaptation to enable people to deal with uh, in this case it's shock or st stress from shock uh, is the way they describe it and that makes it that makes total sense to me it, it wouldn't make sense to a, a normally trained doctor but in the way that i think about disease and the way that i think about health that makes total sense to me. So, so German new medicine I'm interested in at the moment. Uh, Joseph Murphy I always go back to. And I've started doing EFT again a little bit. So as well as the Reiki stuff that I, I do self-treatments most, most days. At some point I do 10 minutes or so. It's just a self-treatment just to, to calm me down. I tend to overheat a little bit if I do it too close to when I'm going to, going to sleep. But uh, it's all right during the day. If it's cold, I can just do a Reiki treatment and I warm up. So <laughs> it's a way, of, uh, a way of regulating my temperature as, as much as anything else. And it's, it's temperature that it's, having a higher temperature will kill bugs. So you can see how it, it's obvious how it works. Because when your immune system kicks in, your temperature goes up. But but the temperature going up isn't a symptom of a disease. It's your immune system upping the temperature so that the temperature kills the bugs. Or kills whatever's invading your body or whatever it is. So Reiki, Reiki does that. So Reiki is like an external version of regulating your immune system. A conscious version of regulating your immune system. I used to do a thing for a while as well called Immunix, which is very weird, but but also seems to work. And uh, I don't really recommend Immunix to people because it's just too weird. But if you want to take a look at it, the principles are quite quite interesting, and they, it was developed by a team of people. And they mostly channeled, channeled things that were getting in the way of health. There's a long, long list of things that they, they call immune dysfunctions and conditions and pathologies. And all you really do is you, you're consciously setting the intention to, to take out the pathology and put in, put in the opposite of the pathology. Or put in a quality that's the opposite of the pathology. So and it, it works with viruses. So you just, just if you're getting cold, it's easy enough just to sit down quietly for 10 minutes. And they've got a model of 12, 12 bodies that they use, which is interesting again. I don't necessarily agree with this, but it's a useful model. I tend to use a four-body model, model, but 
each their own. Everybody's got their own version. But if you're looking for a virus in your system, you will just check each body in turn until you find it. Or keep checking each body in turn. When you find it, you just take it out with intention. Uh, you set up they set up a signal that tells you that the virus has been removed, and then you put in put in joy or health or. <coughs> Oops, there you go. That's that's my voice going. Cause forty minute mark coming up. I always I always seem to last about forty minutes. But I do need the Lucas aid, I tell you. And it's a psychosomatic thing. There's nothing wrong with my, my throat at all. It's a psychosomatic thing because it's uh because I'm not that used to using my voice. So when I get to the when I get to the limit of what I what I normally do with my voice. The coffin kicks in. There you go. I'll be with you in a second. Yeah, that should be all right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to find another video, I think. Just make sure the share screen's still on. Yeah, which it is. That's all right. Play a little bit more of this Joseph Murphy video, I think. This is the power of your subconscious mind. Prayed in the above manner several times daily, and her mother had a most remarkable recovery after a few days, much to the amazement of her specialist. He complimented her on her great faith in the power of God. The conclusion arrived at in the daughter's mind set the creative law of mind in motion on the subjective side of life, which manifested itself through her mother's body as perfect health and harmony. What the daughter felt as true about her mother was simultaneously resurrected in the experience of her mother, releasing the kinetic action of the subconscious mind. A psychologist friend of mine told me that one of his lungs was infected. X-rays and analysis showed the presence of tuberculosis. At night, before going to sleep, he would quietly affirm, every cell, nerve, tissue, and muscle of my lungs are now being made whole, pure, and perfect. My whole body is being restored to health and harmony. These are not his exact words, but they represent the essence of what he affirmed. A complete healing followed in about a month's time. Subsequent X-rays showed a perfect healing. I wanted to know his method, so I asked him why he repeated the words prior to sleep. Here is his reply. The kinetic action of the subconscious mind continues throughout your sleep time period. Hence, give the subconscious mind something good to work on as you drop off into slumber. This was a very wise answer. In thinking of harmony and perfect health, he never mentioned his trouble by name. I strongly suggest that you cease talking about your ailments or giving them a name. The only sap from which they draw life is your attention and fear of them. Like the above-mentioned psychologist, become a mental surgeon. Then your troubles will be cut off like dead branches are pruned from a tree. If you are constantly naming your aches and symptoms, you inhibit the kinetic action, which means the release of the healing power and energy of your subconscious mind. Furthermore, by the law of your own mind, these imaginings tend to take shape as the thing I greatly feared. Fill your mind with the great truths of life and walk forward in the light of love. Chapter 6. Practical Techniques in Mental Healings An engineer has a technique and a process for building a bridge or an engine. Like the engineer, your mind also has a technique for governing, controlling, and directing your life. You must realize that methods and techniques are primary. In building the Golden Gate Bridge, the chief engineer understood mathematical principles, stresses, and strains. Secondly, he had a picture of the ideal bridge across the bay. The third step was his application of the tried and proven methods by which the principles were implemented until the bridge took form and we drive on it. There also are techniques and methods by which your prayers are answered. 
If your prayer is answered, there is a way in which it is answered, and this is a scientific way. Nothing happens by chance. This is a world of law and order. In this chapter, you will find practical techniques for the unfolding and nurture of your spiritual life. Your prayers must not remain up in the air like a balloon. They must go somewhere and accomplish something in your life. When we come to analyze prayer, we discover there are many different approaches and methods. We will not consider in this book the formal, ritual prayers used in religious services. These have important place in group worship. We are immediately concerned with the methods of personal prayer as it is applied in your daily life and as it is used to help others. Prayer is the formulation of an idea concerning something we wish to accomplish. Prayer is the soul's sincere desire. Your desire is your prayer. It comes out of your deepest needs and it reveals the things you want in life. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. That is really prayer. Life's hunger and thirst for peace, harmony, health, joy, and all the other blessings of life. The passing over technique for impregnating the subconscious. This consists essentially in inducing the subconscious mind to take over your request as handed it by the conscious mind. This passing over is best accomplished in the Riviere-like state. Know that in your deeper mind are infinite intelligence and infinite power. Just calmly think over what you want. See it coming into fuller fruitation from this moment forward. Be like the little girl who had a very bad cough and a sore throat. She declared firmly and repeatedly, it is passing away now. It is passing away now. It passed away in about an hour. Use this technique with complete simplicity and naivety. Your subconscious will accept your blueprint. If you were building a new home for yourself and family, you know that you would be intensely interested in regard to the blueprint for your home. You would see to it that the builders conform to the blueprint. You would watch the material and select only the best wood, steel, in fact, the best of everything. What about your mental home and your mental blueprint for happiness and abundance? All your experiences and everything that enters into your life depend upon the nature of the mental building blocks which you use in the construction of your mental home. If your blueprint is full of mental patterns of fear, worry, anxiety, or lack, and if you are despondent, doubtful, and cynical, then the texture of the mental material you are weaving into your mind will come forth as more toil, care, tension, anxiety, and limitation of all kinds. The most fundamental and the most far-reaching activity in life is that which you build into your mentality every waking hour. Your word is silent and invisible. Nevertheless, it is real. You are building your mental home all the time, and your thought and mental imagery represent your blueprint. Hour by hour, moment by moment, you can build radiant health, success, and happiness by the thoughts you think, the ideas which you harbor, the beliefs that you accept, and the scenes that you rehearse in the hidden studio of your mind. This stately mansion upon the construction of which you are perpetually engaged is your personality, your identity in this plane, your whole life story on this earth. Get a new blueprint, built silently by realizing peace, harmony, joy, and goodwill in the present moment. By dwelling upon these things and claiming them, your subconscious will accept your blueprint and bring all these things to pass. By their fruits ye shall know them. The Science and Art of True Prayer The term science means knowledge, which is coordinated, arranged, and systematized. Let us think of the science and art of true prayer as it deals with the fundamental principles of life and the techniques and processes by which they can be demonstrated in your life, as well as in the life of every human being when he applies them faithfully. The art is your technique or process, and the science behind it is the definite response of creative mind to your mental picture or thought. At right, that's a, that's a good place to stop as well. So what he's saying is that, is that the science is, is the knowledge. It's not, it's not the method, it's the knowledge. What knowledge is method, ultimately. 
So whatever process you apply, whatever whatever formula is behind that process, that is the science. So a formula abstracted from a, a set of conditions and thoughts and feelings and assumptions and intentions, whatever combination of those things it, it is, um, that's the science of the healing. My, my way of doing stuff is, is Reiki hands-on healing, but other people do it via hypnosis or do it via emotional freedom technique or Sedona method or quantum healing or whatever whatever combination of words you want to use. Ultimately, a lot of these things reduce down to the same principles, uh, which is why I'm, I'm fine just playing various combinations of stuff and doing various combinations of techniques because they all come down to the same basic principle, so it just keeps me keeps me alive, really. It keeps me interested, keeps me engaged. If I can switch techniques around, so Reiki is relatively easy to learn. Uh, I've been thinking about doing online training as well next next year, this year. Now, um, I did ask in one of the Reiki forums on Facebook how much I should charge, and nobody came up with a figure. So I'm just going to have to work something out. But at the moment, I'm the, the buy me a coffee link that I posted earlier, that I talked about earlier on, buymeacoffee.com forward slash radio projects. has got a, I set up a, a, a donation of $7 a month, which I don't think is excessive for the, for the Reiki, uh, server on Discord just to, to get me a little bit of income so that I can commit a little bit more time because I've, I've got to work to pay the bills so if I can get money coming in it means I can commit a little bit a little bit of my time and I can do less work elsewhere and $7 isn't going to do a huge amount but it might buy me a second hand book or buy me a cup of coffee while I'm sitting down typing responses to messages and questions and what have you in Discord. Seven dollars would probably buy me two coffees actually where I buy my coffee when eventually the, the cafe gets opened again. So that would that would last me two hours. So that's two hours of my time I can put into the Discord server or put into the radio show or whatever whatever it is that that's the, the thing that's in front of me to do. So you only ever really do the thing that's in front of me to do, and that's that's the way I get by. So so, so it means I don't I don't have to think too hard. Uh, it's it's not very strategic, but over a long period of time it becomes strategic because it's like it filters out all the other things, and you end up just concentrating on two or three or four things anyway. I can't really handle more than four things. Even if they're even even if I'm alternating them, I can't handle more than more than about three or four at any one time. So just a reminder, Revolution Radio is listener supported. So you can find the chat room at revolution.radio or freedomslips.com. And on there you'll find a, a Patreon button and you can make a monthly donation to the station. There's two there's two stations running more or less 24 hours a day two studios running together uh, there's a lot of variety of, of material comes out of these uh, studios some of which i like some of which i don't like but each to their own it's not really my decision to <laughs> to change anything about anybody except me and that's the way i approach it so it's all it's it's all about me ultimately it's all about you you're the one that's in charge of creating your own life make it a good one make it full of love and joy and laughter and chilled out stuff <coughs> and <coughs> don't engage with the fear it's just it's fear it's nonsense it might bring something up that you have to clear in a process in which case it served its purpose. Well, you don't have to engage in it. 
Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to go over to the Discord server and I'm going to see if I've actually tagged it with radio. So if anybody wants to join me over there, I'll post a link in the chat room again. I'll probably play a little bit more of this Joseph Murphy and maybe find something else to to play as well for the next hour or so. I will see anyway. Here's the and here's the link again. I'll see you next week. Thanks for being here, folks.